Good morning, everybody. I wanted to reflect on freedom for a moment and ask you and me, all of us, what is freedom? And it's become a big issue in today's world with all of our rights being taken away many freedoms being trampled on for the gain of the individual or the corporation. Um, it's nothing new. It's just ever more exposed because of the internet. The lies aren't as easily concealed anymore. And so my question, my ultimate question comes is, what is freedom to the individual? When most people speak of freedom, they talk about their right to do certain things. They want either their right to speak freely, their right to own the things that they like to own, or their right to do the things that they like to do. This is understandable, but it leads us to a consideration that everyone needs to make to distinguish freedoms from in positions. If what you're doing that you consider your right is imposing upon someone else's life, then it's not a freedom and it's not a right. A person should have the freedom, the ultimate freedom, to think whatever he likes. And so when I think of freedom, I think of freedom of thought. A person can be as free as they want in the physical world. You take a person to prison and their whole life changes because they're not free in their mind. If a person has a lot of material goods and a lot of accumulated wealth, they may think they're free because in their minds they're free from the problem of life, which is poverty, to them. You take all that away and they're not free any longer. So we have to consider freedom for what it is. Freedom is a state of mind. It's a state of being. It's a state of being aware that there's something greater than you and that there's a purpose. And I'm working on this in my own life. There are too many cooks in the kitchen and there are not enough people. There's a lot of hungry people out there, but but the, the knowledge that people are putting out there, like I am, is received with a grain of salt and passed into the collective of the people. My point is that I think I'm going to cease my YouTube videos for a while now and work on some, some deeper personal relationships with the universe. And uh, I started to realize that by making these videos, it's helping me to speak some of the things that I'm thinking subconsciously or even consciously that I just have to kind of speak to get them out. So I've noticed that, you know, I might post a small percentage of the videos that I actually record because I do this for my future memories and whatnot, but I just started erasing them. I don't really care anymore. I'm. It's just another form of material possession. Hanging on to the past, holding on to old photos, old recordings. I still have my cassette tapes from the 80s. I never wanted to get rid of them. Why not? I might need them one day. I might listen to them. So right now, I'm going to close the door on this chapter of my life. I'm going to close the camera, and I'm going to step back for a little while and do my own thing and develop myself to where I think that freedom is inherent within me and can never be destroyed. So I thank all of you for watching and all of my friends out there who have watched my videos. Um, I wish you all the best on your journeys, and I'll probably be back now and again. But to tell you the honest truth, YouTube is one of my last addictions. The internet is one of my last addictions that I really need to conquer because it consumes the most time of any of my addictions. So I'm going to put down the pipe 
so to speak, and uh, log out for a little while. So I wish you all the best. Much love.